I just want to do this video about uh, some apps and uh, some tips and tricks that I use for every new Android phone that I get. Uh, I'm currently I have the HTC One, but if I had any any Android phone, these are the these are the things that I would use these apps. Uh, first, I'm gonna gonna get started with uh, the cache cleaner. The cache cleaner that I use is called All Clear, and it's right here. All Clear clears your cache from every single app that you have, um, from downloading to your uh, browser to to um, YouTube. It doesn't really matter. You can set the different permissions. Um, it'll keep your your phone running a lot faster, and it'll uh, it won't slow down your processes. Another app that I use is uh, Fast Reboot, which is right here. It uh it, it'll stop. Uh, I like it a lot better than a, like a task killer. Task killers tend to uh, tend to slow down your phone actually over time. Uh, Fast Reboot would stop the processes that are going on. Uh, even if uh, some things are going on in the background, you can just hit it, and it'll uh, it'll stop all the processes and clear up some. Uh, some megabytes on your phone so your phone runs faster um, another app that I like to use is uh, auto memory killer actually uh, instead of using a, an advanced task killer um, I would suggest to use auto memory killer um, you can find it in the in the, in the Play Store um, you it is better if you're rooted but you don't have to be rooted to use it and you can set the permissions on here you can change uh, how you want it if you want it to be moderate uh, which it frees up memory over time. Uh, it'll, it'll you can set the time from 30 minutes to 60 minutes to 120 minutes. You can do it on put it on moderate, optimum, strict, uh, aggressive, extreme, and ultimate. It really depends on uh, how you uh, how much memory you want freed up and how often you want it freed up. Uh, that's a really good app. I like. I would suggest that over Advanced Task Killer any day. Uh, another app that I like to use actually this app right here is Google Keep. Um, I like it over Evernote. I think it looks a lot nicer over e Evernote. Um, I put a lot of notes in here and stuff like that. And obviously, you can see I have the widget right here. It's a really good app. I, I really, uh, I really enjoy this app. It's a really good app. Um, another app I like to use. I know a lot of people always like to be different and uh, have a lot of different ringtones and wallpapers and things like that. Um, this is an app called Zedge. They don't have any ringtone, any uh, notification, alarm, wallpaper that you can think of. All you, all you have to do is go in here and uh, search the app. All you have to do is go into the Play Store and search the app. And uh, it'll pop up and all you have to do is just go in here and just search in the, in the search bar whatever notification you want. From Ninja Turtles to Power Rangers, whatever you like, uh, it'll have it in there. Um, it's not loading up right now, but anyway, yeah, Zedge is a good, uh, is another good app. Then an app I just recently got into is Ninja SMS Pro. As you can see right here, um, when someone texts you, it pops up. It's basically like chat head. You can move it around. You can go inside. You can go inside the app. You can uh, fade it out or you can close it. And you can move it around and keep it, and it won't stop uh, any process that you're doing. If you're playing a game or watching a video, it'll just pop up, and you can reply, send it from there, and then keep it up there, or you can close it. That's a really good app. I like it. It's uh, it's very helpful. And another app that I like a lot is actually called Widgetsoid. Widgetsoid. Um, now, if you don't have like an uh, a Samsung phone, all the Samsung Galaxy series have a pull down bar up here. Where you can have you can uh, you know how you can't turn off your internet, but you can uh, you know sync it. You can turn up your uh, the brightness. You can turn on a flashlight, turn on your Wi-Fi, things like that. But if you do want that, or you just want a different version, you just want a different set of them, you can turn off your your internet. Uh, if you want to save energy, uh, you know you want to switch them around. A good app is Widgetsoid. All you have to do is go in here. Uh, and set up which notifications you want. You can just the one that I have. You can set them up all different kinds of ways. You can add some. You can erase the ones you have here. Um, and then you can choose whether you want to have the actual app up here, or you can choose to have a. You can choose to have the notification be a battery. To be a battery notif notifier right there, actually at the top of my 25% right now. So it's act it acts like a, a dual, like it's pretty like a dual. It's like a dual app. But I like it a lot. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I use all these apps daily, 
and um, they tend to keep my phone running fast and very customizable. All right, thanks.